Hey friends, uh, so today is day four post-surgery number one um, and seven days to go to surgery number two. And today has been trying. <laughs> um, I mean, my pain is okay. It's pretty well controlled and I'm in good spirits. It's just being stuck in bed and needing help with literally everything that's hard Um if I, if I want to go to the restroom, I have to ask my husband to come help me get out of this machine that I'm in. And then uh, I have to use my walker to get to the bathroom. And it's just, it's a lot, especially being 35, you know, being used to being somewhat independent. I'm not used to this. So it's a little bit more challenging today than it has been the past couple of days. I think that's because the, the anesthesia is finally pretty much worn off. I'm starting to feel like myself again. And that's making me stir crazy. So um, I expect over the next couple of days to just be watching a lot of TV and crocheting and just waiting for my next surgery. So um, that one is on Monday and that's the big one. But luckily I only have to do it on one side. So today has been good. Just long and yeah, a little bit trying. Again, my pain isn't my issue and I've been able to eat and everything like that. So that's not not really the issue it's just more the independence but Daisy has still stayed by my side this entire time and Brian's taking very good care of me as are the kids Jake came home today from his dad's house and it's really nice to have him back so not a whole lot going on um yeah I'll give you guys an update tomorrow and I hope that in the meantime you all drink plenty of water and take care of yourselves and remember that you are beautiful precious beings and I'm so grateful you exist in my world I'm doing all right, so you take care of you, okay? I'll talk to you later. Bye.